shot five times in the back. The findings of an autopsy requested by the family of 18 year old Andres Guardado. And today we are hearing from an attorney for that deputy who opened fire. NBC 4's Kim Tobin picks it up from here. Good afternoon, everyone. We just heard from the attorney of Deputy Miguel Vega, who shot and killed Andres Gordado. He says that night when he was chasing him that Gordado dropped the gun. He was ready to be cuffed, and then he says that Gordado reached for the gun, and he had no choice but to open fire. The family of Gordado says they plan to move forward in their fight for justice. An independent autopsy released by the attorneys for the family of Andres Gordado shows where he was struck by bullets in the back and grazed in the arm. And the significance of that is that he was, Andres was not facing the deputies when they shot him in the back. Attorney Adam Shea says toxicology reports also came back negative for drugs and alcohol. Gordado was shot and killed June 18th outside an auto body shop in Gardena where he worked as an unlicensed security guard. The deputy's name has not been released by the sheriff's office, but attorneys identified him as Deputy Miguel Vega. Investigators say Gordado produced a handgun, ran, and one of the deputies opened fire. It appears as though there's absolutely no way to justify shooting somebody in the back who wasn't posing any risk of harm to you. Sheriff Villanueva's office says they've searched the cameras at the business, but no video was found of the shooting. And they put a security hold on the official autopsy as they're investigating. Holding on to facts is meant to keep the investigation from being tainted in any way, shape, or form. But the deputy who opened fire has not provided a statement in the criminal investigation. This is a criminal investigation. So all persons that are going to be interviewed are entitled to the Fifth Amendment. The deputies are no exception to this. So they provide a voluntary statement. But the deputy's partner that night, who did not open fire, did provide a voluntary statement. His attorney tells us he told investigators Gordado was holding the handgun when he was shot. It was produced as he was running, uh, going south in that alleyway. But the family and their attorneys maintain that Gordado was an innocent victim, and they filed paperwork to start the process of a lawsuit if they don't get more answers from the sheriff. Sheriff's Department. The attorney for Deputy Vega says that he is cooperating with the investigation and he plans to have a meeting with investigators on Monday and the FBI will be overseeing this investigation. Reporting from downtown LA, Kim Tobin, NBC4 News.